Good afternoon. Welcome to Southwest Wisconsin Technical College's spring graduation. I'm Dwayne Ford, president of Southwest Wisconsin Technical College. Southwest Tech is a unit of local government. Its purposes are to provide education and training opportunities as well as technical assistance responsive to the needs of students, employers, and communities. The college is governed and held accountable to the people of Southwest Wisconsin by a district board comprised of the nine directors listed in your program. Two of the directors are here with us today. Mr. Jim Kohlenberg, a Southwest Wisconsin Technical College District Board Member and owner and president of Jim's Building Center here in Fenimore, Wisconsin. And Ms. Melissa Fitzsimmons, a Southwest Wisconsin Technical College District Board Member, an alum of this college, and a registered nurse for Dean Specialty Clinic, Dodgeville, Wisconsin. Also joining me on stage this afternoon are Dr. Phil Thomas, Vice President for Student and Academic Affairs, and Dr. Richard, Richard Amon, Dean of Business, Management, and General Studies. The heart and soul of any successful college, and certainly one as successful as Southwest Tech, is its employees. Would the Southwest Wisconsin Technical College faculty, staff, administrators please stand? Ours is a truly outstanding college because of the wonderful work that these great people do. It's now my pleasure to introduce this afternoon's alumni speaker, Ms. Deborah Schwim. Ms. Schwim attended culinary management classes in 2007 and 2008 and opened a family-owned business here in Fenimore in 2008. She and her family operate the Cottage Baker, Specialty Coffee and Bake Shop. Please welcome our alumni speaker, Ms. Deborah Swim. Imagine yourself back at student orientation. The big room, lots of people, strangers for that matter, and the butterflies in your stomach. When I sat in that room, experiencing those sensations, I somehow managed to unintentionally volunteer to show the entire room how many people I could introduce myself to in 60 seconds. Trust me, back then I never made a spectacle of myself. Almost eight years later, here I am again, standing up in front of a whole lot of people and for longer than 60 seconds this time. But honestly, I would like to thank Samantha Goss for inviting me to share a little bit of my story today. As mentioned, I was a student in the culinary management program from 2007 to 2008 in preparation to open a coffee and bake shop with my family here in Fenimore. If you had asked me when I was a child what I wanted to be when I grew up, I probably never would have answered a baker. Truth is, my desire to cook dinners for my family sprouted from a desire to avoid doing the dinner dishes. My mom made me a deal at 14. I could cook and she would clean up. I did become so interested in cooking from scratch, however, that I started to take recipe books with me on long hard trips to read to pass the time. Eventually, my family's strong sense of entrepreneurship and dedication to family togetherness prompted us to seek out business opportunities in the Fenimore area. My mom found Southwest Tech Online. She thought that enrolling for a year in the culinary management program would be great preparation for me. We planned to transition from a small, successful, baking operation at a farmer's market to a permanent shop. However, I was not so thrilled at the idea of college at first. I had been homeschooled, so that was to be my first classroom experience, and I found the idea intimidating. I really appreciated the pre-orientation meeting that our class held with our instructors, Jeff Dombeck and Karen Bast. They put me completely at ease, and I started looking forward to the year ahead. Now, for those of you in the culinary management program, I never did find Karen to be scarier than Jeff, so I'm not sure what that rumor was all about. They um, both made it clear that if you were simply ready to put in the effort, you could be a success. My experience was educating, thoroughly informative, and a balance of fun and challenge. I appreciated the helpfulness of the staff, the fact that my hard work was always noticed and encouraged, and the camaraderie that I enjoyed with my instructors and fellow students. 
One concept introduced during a catering class especially stuck with me. The idea of exceeding people's expectations. This concept is very relevant to catering. The need to wow people, impress them with your performance, be bigger and better than all the rest. Well, I'm not big on performing for people, but I love to serve people. I want to exceed their expectations of customer service. My patrons need more than simply a sweet or highly caffeinated spot in their routine. They need a smile, a good morning, someone who's generally interested in their day. I strive to always uplift those who come into my shop, and their appreciation of that service is my personal reward. In fact, it's sometimes the only reason I can get out of bed at 4 o'clock in the morning. However, serving people should not be confused with pleasing people because it is impossible in life to please everyone. My ideal of fresh, scratch-made, small-batch baked products does not appeal to everyone. Some people demand cheap food, some want around-the-clock convenience, and some people expect a selection or quantity that I can never produce. I cannot satisfy those desires without compromising our commitment to the quality that makes our business special. Yet, that does not mean that I cannot serve them and be helpful to anyone who approaches our business, even if it includes recommending the nearest shop that can provide what they need. I do always welcome questions and suggestions from my customers because with dedication and flexibility, I am often able to overcome obstacles and connect product and service with my customers. Good business builds on good relationships. To me, those relationships have been priceless. I love that I can share the excitement of a customer's upcoming wedding, um, talk about their family and kids, work, swap recipes, even share garden produce. It inspires me when my customers tell me they can no longer stand airport pastries or supermarket bread or even Starbucks coffee because our products give them such enjoyment they're spoiled. And I'm truly um, encouraged when my customers tell me they're glad when I take some time off and close the shop because they want me to relax. I'm touched by my customers' appreciation, loyalty, and incredible support. I believe the greatest reward of being in the service industry is just that, being of service to someone, no matter what your product is or your position. In closing, I encourage every one of you to strive beyond the expectation of mediocre service and exceed it. Think of your clients, customers, employees, coworkers, and managers as more than just part of the business. They are your biggest opportunity of impact. I hope that you will find your journey to be rewarding as I have found mine. Thank you. Our first student speech today will be given by Mr. Ben Grunwald. Ben is receiving his associate degree in golf course management. He grew up in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, and came to Southwest Tech directly from high school. Mr. Grunwald has been involved on campus as a student ambassador, state ambassador, golf program president, student senate governor, tutor, member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and a work-study student in the marketing and public relations department, and in, in, in addition to all of that, a member of the Southwest Tech Chargers golf team. Ben plans to work as a golf professional until he reaches the age of 24, when he will play golf professionally on the PGA Tour. Welcome student speaker, Ben Grunwald. All that stuff you just listed there, uh, that can otherwise be known as being an overachiever. Uh, as my classmates so lovingly call me. So as you said, my name is Ben Grunwald. Um, gosh, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> they told me I'd be doing the speech. They didn't say how many people would be here. So that's probably how they got me to do it. Uh, I am 20 years old, graduating from the golf course management program. I came to Southwest Tech originally just to play golf. That was my whole goal. Never heard of the school. Knew there was a golf course management program. Visited once. But then once I got here, I started to really explore and see what the school had to offer. And there was a lot of common values that the instructor shared. And I thought, at first, yeah, that's pretty cool. But then I explored even further, and every one of the instructors shared these values. 
And I even found the little slips of paper on the wall that say core values, the things they like to instill in students. Uh, integrity, honor, respect, professionalism, teamwork. These are things that I passionately believe in that make you successful not only in your work career, but in your life. You know, the things that are going to really give you happiness or what they're trying to instill in students. So immediately when I found that the school stood for these things, I knew I could stand behind it. And from the gigantic list that he read off before, I really did. Um, you know, the school is really something I believe in. It turned out to be so much more than I thought it would be. Uh, a school that teaches the same values. It's fun to go to every day. Like I said, just something I could believe in and a choice that I will never regret going here. As always, is customary with these kind of speeches, I have some thank yous to give for uh, this amazing accomplishment. Uh, thank you to all the other graduates and classmates of mine. Uh, it's an honor for me to be here. They're giving me a little fist pump back there. Thanks, guys. Um, it's, it's special for me to be here, I feel like. So I hope it's just as special for you. I had an awesome experience at Southwest Tech, uh, learning from all the faculty members and the mentors here I had. Um, also, most importantly, I have to thank uh, my God. I have to give glory to God for everything that I've done. It's all because of him that I'm here. Um, to my family, thank you. To my family, uh, thank you for all the love and support. You've never left my side once. Um, even at times where I came home on the weekends and mooched off all your food, you know, appreciate it. It's everything you've done for me with the support and continued support. I would never be where I am without you guys. To so my classmates, we started as strangers and slowly became really, really a close-knit group. Even though there's so few of us here today, uh, I'm really, really happy I got to know you guys and will continue to be in touch with you throughout our careers. To so my mentors at Southwest Tech, Scott Kennedy, who is unfortunately not here today, uh, all the advisors, Allison Carroll, Matt Schneider, Mary Turner, um, you know, all the ambassadors. I learned so much from you, and in no way could I ever thank you enough for what you've given me. I came here out of high school a very shy individual, still am in some ways, but I came out of my shell because you gave me the opportunity and the learning tools to do so, so thank you. And to any future ambassadors or students, realize your potential. I came out of high school with very low confidence, wasn't involved, nothing, wasn't a very social person, and I'm standing up here blabbering in front of 300 people about right now, so that's one thing. But just realize your potential because when you set your mind to something and really focus on it, it's yours. Nobody can tell you differently. It's yours if you work for it and never quit. So once again, thank you for being here. Thank you, graduates. Congratulations. And thank you to all my mentors. Thank you. Our next student speaker is Ms. Michela Dudenbastel. It's not a name I say very often. Is from, uh, she's from Vivoco, Wisconsin. Ms. Dudenbostel was homeschooled and enrolled in business management program right after high school. While on campus, Michelle has been a student employee in the marketing and public relations department, a student ambassador, and is one of the college's first social media ambassadors. Michelle has been interviewing for jobs and plans to build a photography business named Just Cause Photography. By the way, this is two entrepreneurs that we've heard from uh, today. Uh, first, Miss Swim, and now Miss uh, Dudenbostel. Uh, that's something else you can do with a Southwest Tech degree, is start your own business. So she's going to start this business, and she's going to assist her husband, Evan, in his business of farming. Please, welcome me in, in, well, please join me in welcoming Miss Michela Dudenbostel.
Great. Well, first, I want to congratulate all of the graduates, and thank you to everyone here who has supported us these last few years. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. You've probably all heard this saying, but what does it really mean? As a homeschooled high school student, thinking about college was intimidating. I had limited classroom experience and really didn't know what to expect out of a college education. My two older sisters had done really well in their college, at college, and this gave me some hope, but it also gave me a very high standard to live up to. I never wanted to be the little sister who failed. But I didn't let that fear of failure stop me. I took the first step and I applied at Southwest Tech. Now, two years later, my confidence has grown, but I'm facing the next step. Where to go from here? Although I've been prepared, I still don't feel ready. I believe every person who has impacted the world would tell you that they didn't always feel ready. They probably were intimidated too, and they knew that the risk of failure was huge. In 1954, Elvis Presley was fired by the manager of the Grand Ole Opry after just one performance. He was told, you ain't going nowhere, son. You ought to go back to driving truck. After that, Walt Disney, he was fired by a newspaper editor because he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. He started a number of businesses that didn't last long, and they ended with bankruptcy and failure. Thomas Edison, he was told by his teachers that he was too stupid to learn anything. He was fired from his first two jobs for not being productive enough. And as an inventor, Edison made 3,000 unsuccessful attempts at, a, at inventing the light bulb before he succeeded. What would have happened if these three people had listened to the voices that put them down? What if they had never taken that first step, decided it wasn't worth the risk of failure? What will happen when we find the courage to do the things that intimidate us? When we take those first steps and don't let fear stop us, will we fail 3,000 times? It's possible. But in the end, we will find success, be stronger individuals, and know that we did the right thing. I don't know about all of you, but I don't want to look back on my life and wonder why I never even tried. So today, as we're all faced with multiple options and decisions to make, whether it's moving across the country or staying put, continuing in our current jobs, or going back to school, um, entering the workforce, you know, whatever it is for you, we all have to remember that, these, that success never comes without the risk of failure. I want to encourage each of you to take that first step, whatever it is, and don't let the fear of failure determine the direction of your journey in life. Thank you all again, and congratulations to the graduates. Would the graduating students please rise? Mr. Kohlenberg. By the authority vested in me as vice chairman of the Southwest Wisconsin Technical College District Board, I hereby approve and confer the diplomas you have earned. Would the graduates please come forward? Nicole Davies, High Honors, Accounting. Amanda Judd, Accounting. Megan Linneman, Accounting. Jennifer Rice, High Honors, Accounting. Kim Weigel, High Honors, Accounting. Chelsea Zart, High Honors Accounting. Courtney Rounds, High Honors Accounting Assistant. Lynn Biba, High Honors Administrative Professional. Amanda Deckert, High Honors Administrative Professional. Jennifer Olin, Administrative Professional. Elizabeth Alcorn, Business Management. 
Stephanie Baranek, Business Management. Roger Cooley, Business Management. Michela Dudenbostel, High Honors Business Management. Sarah Fry, Business Management. Nicole Harris, Business Management. Katie Hilby, High Honors Business Management. Kaylee Johnson, Business Management. Angelica Lippert, Business Management. Dylan Niffenager, Business Management. Stephen Reynolds, High Honors Business Management. Stephanie Roberts, Business Management. Stacy Smith, Business Management. Brian Steckline, High Honors Business Management. Jordan Botsford, High Honors Culinary Arts. Lauren Harris, Culinary Arts. Cassandra Martinez, Culinary Arts. Carla Fishnick, High Honors Culinary Management. Rindy Shaben, High Honors Culinary Management, Culinary Specialist. Kristen Chandler, Culinary Specialist. Margarita Rodriguez, Culinary Specialist. Courtney Wild, Culinary Specialist. Jesse Balmer, Golf Course Management. Ben Grunwald, High Honors, Golf Course Management. Sean Nitka, Golf Course Management. Andrew Stasek, High Honors, Golf Course Management. Jonathan Van Oosten, Golf Course Management. Emily Casey, High Honors, Graphic and Web Design. Sarah Hayden, High Honors, Graphic and Web Design. Dustin Kilberg, Graphic and Web Design. Joshua McConkey, High Honors, Graphic and Web Design. Mary Turner, Graphic and Web Design. Colton Hammer, IT Computer Support Technician. Tammy Patzel, High Honors, IT Computer Support Technician. Kelly Flynn, Jr., High Honors, IT Network Communications Specialist. Travis Heisel, High Honors, IT Network Communications Specialist. Jacob McCauley, High Honors, IT Network Communications Specialist. Cole Bradley, IT Web and Software Developer. Cody Dickerson, High Honors, IT Web and Software Developer. Angel Larson, High Honors, IT Web and Software Developer. Carla McAndrew, High Honors, IT Web and Software Developer. Joseph Olin, High Honors, IT Web and Software Developer and Accounting. Marsha Parker, IT Web and Software, High Honors. Taylor Biba, Office Support Specialist. Serena Linder, High Honors, Office Support Specialist. Sarah Miles, High Honors, Office Support Specialist.
Would the graduates please stand? Mr. Kohlenberg, Ms. Fitzsimmons, faculty, staff, and honored guests, I present to you the May class of 2015. Please be seated. You're now alums of Southwest Wisconsin Technical College, and we have high expectations for you. Take care of yourself and your family. Dream big, achieve success, engage with others to help make your community a better place. Graduates, it's truly fitting, as Mr. Grunwald said, that you consider how you will thank those people who have helped you arrive today at graduation. And there are many people both known to you and unknown to you who have helped you get here. Faculty and staff members, family and friends, scholarship donors, state and local taxpayers, and many, many others. Please find ways over the next few days and weeks to thank and recognize those who have helped you get here. And finally, please stay connected to Southwest Wisconsin Technical College. There's many ways to do so. We like you, we wanna hear from you. Let us know what happens, where you get work, um, what happens in your life, what happens in your career. We just like to know. Um, be proud and speak often of your experience here and recommend our programs, if you would, to other prospective students and employees. Um, by the way, we have some seats left for the fall class, so if you know anybody that's looking to come to college, let them know. Someday, perhaps, you will come back and join us as a teacher, a board member, staff member or you know a president or who knows what I also challenge you to consider over time giving back to your college with your time and your money so that you can help support students in the same way that you have been supported many many people contributed to the planning and execution of this ceremony and I thank each and every one of them the videotape of today's uh, event will be available online and you can watch the uh, Southwest Tech Facebook page for the link to that video. Family and friends, I ask that you remain seated until the graduates have left the building and uh, you can meet your graduates or join them over in the cafeteria uh, across the street in the main building. And there we have a reception for you with some cake and other goodies. Um, our bookstore is open today. There's also a photo booth over there if you want some pictures that way. Uh, while you're here, I encourage you to walk around and see our beautiful campus and grounds because they are, uh, much has happened here and things look really good. Um, this brings our spring graduation to a close on behalf of the entire Southwest Wisconsin Technical College community. I wish you all a happy and safe summer. <laughs>